Shalom, Israel. I had no idea <laughs> where I was at. I'm on the border of Mexico. What's going on? This a news crew out here. And for some reason, as I pulled up here, there was a white man in a little bitty pickup with a damn eight foot erected American flag on the back of it. Riding away from this gathering of these uh, Hispanics out here at the border. I don't know what they got going on right there, that gathering. But he, he evidently out here by his lonesome in protest with the American flag to make them feel oh so welcome. So the, uh, I'm checking in right here and what uh, this guy just informed me is that Trump and the governor of Texas is coming. So that's what's going on here. Get the fuck out of here. Trump. What the fuck is he? <laughs> that clown still in rotation? Well, I tell you. And he's a... Uh, so that explains the white guy with the flag. Wait a second, look at what I see there. Do y'all see that? That's that flag with the snake on it. The yellow flag. That's some of that right wing, nut wing, uh, nut job. Yeah. Anyway, ain't got nothing to do with us. Just coincidence, I happen to be here. So, and, uh, you, you'll be amazed, man. You wouldn't believe how many uh, Hispanics love this moron, Trump. I know one. I don't even want to speak on it, but anyway, yeah, that's what's going on here today. Amazing to see the turnout after uh, I leave this place. It uh, starts to together more. The Most High said He will send us into captivity under a foolish nation and a lesser God. That's like the definition of it. Saying the living testament of those words in his power. I don't know what to tell you. And I hope those ain't Mexicans over there gathering like roaches for raid. of this world. In other news, want to share with y'all something real quick. Give me one second as I prepare this. All praise to the Most High only. 
So let's get it. Peace to the earth. Peace, love, light, and healing. Y'all climb on in. Uh, hopefully it got me on there. If it didn't, I ain't worried about it. It is what it is. We just gonna go live straight from, from here. I might be back in Facebook jail. Uh, nope, I'm on there, y'all. I'm live. I'm live in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's talk about it. The war on consciousness. They are killing your God within. All right, they done let me in the building. Shalom, shalom. Let's get straight to it, family. Let's get straight to it. Peace, peace, peace. Love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Y'all know what it is. Uh, what I was talking about, basically, before we got done. Uh, I'm glad this is a new segment anyway, because that long that long rant I just did in the beginning is cool. Y'all saying if y'all want to check out my rant, just go back to the video I just did before this. It did let me back on Facebook. I want to show y'all how they are killing our consciousness with the fools, how they are killing our consciousness uh, with the way that they set up the things that are in our neighborhood. They're trying to kill our conscience and murder the God within to keep us suppressed mentally, to keep us oppressed mentally, to keep us suppressed mentally and physically uh, when, when we are sick and we have all that mucus and all that acids building up in our body and building up in our glandular highway. This stop us from thinking because then we're focusing on our body. We're focusing on our pains. We're focusing on our medicine. We're focusing on our body. And let me share with y'all. Uh, like I said, this is that brother Yaki I was bringing to y'all in a few uh, previous sharings as he talked about the dietary. And uh, I was mentioning as he's going to go into it uh, that somebody a group of gathering of uh, Israelites who also like him follow the, uh, uh, the creation Yahweh uh, shy um, in ignorance but nevertheless I share with y'all the information that he shares on the dietary so he's going into explaining his uh, um, understanding of the chakras and all this other such of of the Indian uh, Hindu culture and all this other such thing. Nevertheless, as he explained it, he gives good edification on that they all, all these religions hijack the Bible. He's going to go in detail on that. He errors in identifying these um, hijacks through their definitions or titles names so you will see that but nevertheless he's given showing some proof of where they stole it from being of the most highest creation because the most high creates all good and evil but uh that doesn't explain away following another god i'm not gonna go into that like i say i'm not here to uh shit on the brother just pay attention to what he does explain. And um, he goes into detail. Come God. And that's the reason why they want you sick. That's the reason why they want these glances down. That's the reason why they want your body full of acids. They want your body full of pus that comes from dead animal flesh and blood that you're putting in your mouth. That's full of dead car puzzles. That's the reason why they got uh, fast food restaurants on every corner, Chinese uh, Chinaman places on every corner, abortion clinics on every corner, liquor stores on every corner, because these things are not conducive for your body, and it keep you in your lower nature. It keep you in fight or flight. It keep you in your reptilian brain, and you can never get to the cerebral cortex or this frontal lobe that I'm talking about, which will make you open up that pineal gland for you can see the face of God like Jacob, but like Jacob did, that is the whole point. Like I said, if 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 they will con if they will create an environment for you, for you to be healthy, for you to be alkaline, and you unlock that junk DNA, and you open up that pineal gland, you will see the face of God. We are sick, and we have all that mucus and all that acids building up in our body and building up in our gland. And we're focusing on our body. We're focusing on our pains. We're focusing on our medicine. We're focusing on our body. You're not even supposed to realize that you have a body. That's how high you're supposed to be when it comes to your thinking process. You're supposed to be connected to the ether you're supposed to be connected to the spirit so what is keeping you so low what is keeping you so attached to your lower animalistic nature and when you get into it and you see what these things it is all sums up it's the glandular highway 
So you got people that call the Glen you a highway or the intricate system different things, you know, and your your anatomy classes or your doctor terminologies, they call it the intricate system. Uh, when you get into the spiritual science of 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 Hebrews or Christians, they call it the seven seals. You so because you got seven intricate uh, uh, glands, you got seven seals. They call it the seven branches of the manure stick. They call it the seven stars. I mean, is they call it the seven archangel, whatever we want to call these in 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 Hinduism or in India, they call it the chakras, which just means circled or vortex. Even when you get into the Nazarenes and the Nazarites, Christ called it circles himself. But this is talking about your animalistic no, uh, uh, nature or a letter that you have to climb up from. The whole thing is to climb up out of your lower being, to cl climb up out of your carnal self and to become God. And that's the reason why they want you sick. That's the reason why they want these glances down. That's the reason why they want your body full of acids. They want your body full of pus that comes from dead animal flesh and blood that you're putting in your mouth that's full of dead corpuscles of God. You come from that existence. You are of the self-existent one, of the creator, Yahweh of the heavens, the earth, the universe. You were made in his image and after his likeness. And with that being said, once you open up that, that portal or that reality to the cosmos and you look at Yahweh and you see you, then like I said, there will be no more depression. There will be no more oppression. There will be no more suppressions. Uh, we will rule again. We will control the earth and be able to bring civilized people and, 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 and brilliant ideas back to this place. They don't want it like that because while we're down and while we're oppressed and while we're suppressed and while we depress, this gives them the opportunity to rule and stay in power. You see that? So the whole point is they spend billions of dollars a year to, to let you know that you're not finna be God. They spend billions of dollars a year whitewashing history. They spend billions of dollars a year creating white cartoons and superheroes. They spend billions and trillions of dollars a year to keep you addicted to these fools that have you sick and have you stuck in your animalistic nature. They spend billions and trillion dollars a year to, to sell you sex and put ass and titties in your face all day. That way you chasing vagina or you chasing penis and you're not chasing after the things that are contribute to the most high or learning the things that are higher up and not the things that's Holy beneath and below. The, the whole high. thing is to keep you in your reptilian brain. The whole thing is to keep you in your lower animalistic nature. That's what this is all about. That's what I see it, man. It gets real, real deep, y'all. So y'all climb on in. Peace, love, light, and healing to the family. We gonna get straight to it. We gonna get straight to it. So what we finna do is, I'm finna show y'all that there is a such thing as vortexes, or what they call circles, or what they call energy points, or what what we call the six, uh, the seven seals, or what they call chakras, or what they call mitras. It is actually in your body, and it has a purpose in your body. And the scriptures speak about it. So we just going to the, go to the Bible. We gonna go to the Bible and pull it out of the Bible. Since everybody say I'm teaching against the Bible, everybody say I'm into him. Hinduism and voodooism and all these isms. Well, what are we going to say when we pull these things up out of the scripture? What y'all going to say when y'all find out that Christ was in Tibet? That Christ was in India? That Christ was uh, in Kemet? Christ was in Egypt? Huh? Delete learning that. learning, and, and studying with the priest of all of these different municipalities and of all these. What was he doing? What was he doing? We got records. We gonna read all this stuff. So y'all tell me, what was he doing? And then once he came back from all these things, his healing ministry went forth. The moment he became master teacher, his healing ministry went forth. We start seeing him raising the dead. We start seeing him uh, 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 healing the blind. We like I said, I, I gotta interject on that. Please do not get caught up on the good Philly things of what they give you in the new scriptures, the New Testament pertaining to Yahweh Shai Jesus. He had created nothing nor destroyed nothing. Couldn't even prevent his so-called death with an immaculate conception. This is the this is what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to ride on this dude. All praise to the most high only is what I'm trying to get to, to trump anything of ignorance coming from that. Nevertheless, this brother's uh information on dietary and things of the most high. That's all we need to focus on. The most high only. Look family, y'all have to free ourselves from religion. Religion is keeping y'all sick. Religion is keeping y'all sick. Religion is keeping y'all minds limited. Religion got y'all acting like y'all ancestors that was picking cotton in them cotton fields. 
Straight up, there is no coincidence that every leader, when this vital information come out, all of a sudden they get demonized or get called demonic or get called teaching Eastern uh, uh, philosophy or get called all these things. What, why don't these teachers want y'all to know th these secrets, these mysteries that's supposed to be revealed unto you is in the very book that, that we all read? Everybody like Paul and want to go to Paul's writings it's in Paul's writings. Why they don't want you to know these mysteries? Because the moment that you unlock that DNA Fuck and Paul the moment too. that you open up that pineal gland like Jacob did when he wrestled with that angel and there he seen go. the face of God and he named that land pineal, which goes after pineal, your pineal gland, or what we're going to call your third eye. And he seen the face of God. Notice after that, his name changed. Notice after that, a whole new different aspect in reality and way he looked and perceived that reality changed because he got to get that he seen the face of God notice after that his name changed notice after that a whole new different aspect in reality and way he looked and perceived that reality changed because he got to get that energy from his lower nature into the heavens from the earth into the heavens from the bottomless pit as hell the one I'm gonna call the reproductive system all the way up into the holies of holies and that's the whole point I don't care what religion you study in I don't care what philosophy you win if you really get down to the science of it not their cultural traditions and what they're practicing but the actual science of what I'm talking about here every every religion talk about passing from an animalistic nature into a godlike nature into a godlike being so of course you're gonna find it in the scripture of course. So look, if y'all ready to get this started, type in y'all nines, we gon' get it. We gon' get it. So yes, for and on the record, I am saying chakras exist. For and on the record, I'm saying chakras are in your body. For and on the record, I'm saying chakras are in the Bible. For and on the record, I'm saying using crystals for healing is not wicked. For and on the record, I'm saying Christ used crystals. For and on the record, I think meditation is righteous. It says meditate on the word day and night. For and on the record. All right, for, for people who say, well, he uh, he's not drawing a line. He's being too, you know, he's beating around the bush. He's not. No, I'm saying it. Yes, I believe in crystal healing. I believe in energy healing. I believe that you have chakras and they are very important to your body. Not only that, I can prove that 99% of all your diseases come from these chakras not being activated and being full of mucus and pus. And let me reiterate, I'm not trying to de demonize or attack this brother. I'm simply stating the most high only, period. That's where I feel his brother's only error is at. And it could be by design of the most high that he can't see that because no man is going to be given too much power with their influence or their knowledge. So this, is, could, this could be by design he has this error. But nevertheless, that's Israel. There's only one God, one creator, one destroyer. So that's what I want to share and reiterate with y'all as an understanding. I'm not diminishing this brother in anything. I, I said this from the beginning. I, that's the only problem I see with his understanding. Nevertheless, that's what I'm bringing this forth so y'all can hear his understanding. Uh, I'm not... I don't know about no crystals healing or nothing like that. I'm, I'm, I'm focused on what the Most High got to deal with, with, with his herbs and everything he prescribed to us. Understand it. So let him carry on. Oops. You have chakras and they are very important to your body. Not only that, I can prove that 99% of all your diseases come from these chakras not being activated and being full of mucus and pus and acids. From you thinking with a lower mindset or you thinking sinful see that maybe y'all maybe y'all problem is the chakra word so let's call it the glandular highway let's do it that let's call it the seven glands of the body let's call it the endocrine system let's call it that let's call it your secreting organs it's all the same thing let's call it the seven churches of asia let's call it the seven seals let's call it the seven branches of the monora let's call it the seven circles let's call it the seven phases of the moon Let's call it the seven phases of mitosis. You can't get around that seven. You can't get around it. I don't, I don't have seven tatted in the middle of my forehead for a reason. And I knew this knowledge before I was into the truth and before I was into the Bible and knew that I could mark up my skin. You see that? Showing you that this system is taught everywhere. Everywhere. 
So you telling me it's wicked to recognize that I have glands in my body and these glands are in control of my emotion. These glands are in control of the way I perceive reality. Just like I just said in the video, every gland in your body do a specific thing and have a specific functioning and purpose. You cannot get happy without your glands. You cannot get mad without your glands. You cannot be upset without your glands. Your penis can't get hard. You can't feel horny or, re or procreate without your glands. These glands is what issues your life and your emotion. Without the glandular highway and without the endocrine system, you wouldn't even be able to think. You wouldn't even be able to think. So how is that demonic? How is that voodooism and Hinduism and Christianism and all these isms that y'all putting on the brother? Huh? How is that? But let's go see. I'm finna show y'all. Y'all ready to get this started? Look, make sure y'all got y'all pens and pads. That way when these milly mouth uh, Negroes that act like homosexuals following every word that I say, combing through all of my videos and making posts about me every two minutes, you, you, you look, you're looking real suspect out here, Jedi Malek. You're looking real suspect out here, Ty Sir. You're looking real, <laughs> y'all brothers are looking real suspect. And then the, 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 the Jedi Malek character, he's super effeminate. He teach like this, and the way he talk, he just so effeminate. <laughs> like, where your, mascul where your masculinity at, brother? You need to balance yourself out. But you got my mouth and your name all, my name in your mouth all day. It's crazy. It's crazy, y'all. I mean, it, it don't make no sense whatsoever. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me share my screen with y'all. Let me share my screen. Let's get. This about where it get real interesting at. Uh far as what he's sharing uh, information wise pay attention where did it go hold on I'm gonna call your animalistic nature up into Golgotha or where he was look it out I said peace guys today's divine mathematics the com the completion of the mind and matter in its connection with the great number seven. Now, I want to show y'all something. I'm going to let y'all dig into the Bible scriptures and get these because, again, I'm not going to be on here all day in the Bible like that because this is teaching healing and health, mixing it with scriptures too. So, y'all write this down. All right, we got seven branch menorahs. This is Exodus 25, 31 through 40. We got seven daily scenes. This is Proverbs chapter 6, 16 through 19. You have seven attributes of of the Holy Spirit in the Bible. Revelations 1, 1 through 4. You got seven stars in Orion's belt, which is in, in the Bible, the book of Amos, chapter 5, 8 through 9. You have seven churches of Asia, which is Revelations 1 through 4. You have seven seals that's on the back of a book, on the spine of a book. Last I check, you have a spine. Oh, last I check, you have a spinal cord that's connected to seven glances or seals. Ooh, we. We're we going to talk about it, though. The seven seals, Revelation 6, 5 through 6. Look, seven lamps or what you call the Malor Nora that you see on my screen and that I got sitting in the back. Y'all saying I do a bunch of fire manure meditations, y'all. be fire. You know what I'm saying? Look, Revelation 4 and 5. You got the scripture says you're supposed to forgive your brother seven times 70. You see that? That's Matthews 18 and 22. Look, you got, look, one man had to wash himself seven times to be healed. Second Kings 5 and 10. You see that? The seventh day, Yahweh blessed it. It's called Shabbat. Seven. Shabbat means rest. Or it means completion or perfection. That's why he created the world, this new world, because there was worlds before then. You see that? This world before then, there, there's not never been a time and place where man wouldn't in this planet unless he destroyed and recreated it, which the destruction and the recreation have been on this earth several times. You see that? But in this new planetary systems that the heavens that Adam and Kawhi, who they call Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve is under, he created it in 6,000 years. And guess what he did on the 7,000 years? He looked back and he seen how beautiful it was and he rested. That's another seven. Hold on. Look, seven priests blew the trumpets and went around the, the walls of Jericho seven times and blew seven trumpets for seven months until the walls came down. And we're going to talk about that too because all of this is talking about the 
these so-called chakras. All of this is talking about breaking through your animalistic nature. All of this is talking about getting the crystals or the Christ oil or what we're going to call the cerebrum spinal fluid from your sacral or what I'm going to call your root or what I'm going to call your animalistic nature up into Golgotha or where he was, look, where Christ was crucified at Golgotha, which means the soul or the what we call the seven churches or what you call the seven chakras or what they call the in the doctrines of the allopathic world the endocrine system it exists family whether you like the fact or not you think with the glands of your body whether you like the fact or not there are power in your gland you are highway whether you like the fact or not if you do not treat these things and unlock them properly you will die of disease so i'm gonna do that like that there uh give you a sample of what he was doing explaining uh, his philosophy behind his wording and once again I want to stress I don't want to pay attention to wording coming out of that brother's uh, sharing I want to pay attention to the information about healing and what's working for Israel through the power of the Most High God of Israel, the only God that creates and destroys. That's what I want to share of his. And like he says, you know, he don't care if y'all don't uh, subscribe to uh, how he's doing it. I'm, I'm not trying to correct that, but I'm just saying for anybody out there that's looking um, or hearing it, you know, just pay attention, that's not of the most high. That part. But nevertheless, his works are solid on, on the dietary and explaining how our body, which the most high created, functions. Hope that brings some clarity to y'all for understanding. Using discernment. With that said, I'm gonna uh, get loaded over here. Watching me. I'm, I'm thinking these are, these idiots are uh, what's that? these idiots are uh, performing a rally. I guess he's supposed to be trying to run again. Uh, the Edomite, uh, few uh, past tense, king of Babylon. Well, they still out there putting shit up. They got another flag on. see from one corner to the next man out here in the southern tip all the way to the southeast tip I done seen and witnessed these heathens basking in the glory of ignorance and uh, many peoples of all walks following these heathens anyway all praise to the most high uh, it's been good to share with y'all Israel Go ahead, I'm about to make me a salad, sit back, and enjoy my ride. All praise to the Most High. Stay blessed, Israel. Shalom.